What do you have? 38 year old female, unconscious, 30 minutes. Dr. Salinas, somebody find her. Dr. Salinas. She was having cramps and threw up. Vitals? BP 60 over pal, pulse 130 and weak respiration shallow. IV with lactated ring is wide open. Let's move. I'll need tox on her blood and have this vomitus analyzed. We got a code. One amp epi, let's do fit. Clear. Nothing. One more time. Bagger, Stevens. What's that smell? Come on, Stevens, bagger. That smell. It's coming from her. What do you got? Named Ann Bennett, teacher, St. Andrews Academy. She vomited and passed out on the floor of a fifth grade classroom. She OD? Something. Hazmat evacuated ER. Health sealed her up. Quarantine. No one goes near her. Investigate a suspicious death and don't touch the body? That's why you guys get the glory. The lady coded. I tried to bring her back, but... Uh... What about the smell? The nurse said it was like dirty sweat socks? That's what cyanide smells like. I thought that was bitter almonds. Either one. Victim's clothing? Get it down to forensics. Full tox screen for poisons. Did you get a chance to take blood? And blood, too. ASAP, huh? It appears the chest compressions forced the noxious fumes out. That's what knocked Stevens cold. Hey, didn't this happen in California? Yeah. They said it was the smell of death. Five days for an autopsy. Rogers, you gotta be kidding me. This lady emitted some kind of noxious fumes. The attending nurse was unconscious for 20 minutes and still suffers from periodic spasms. Hey, this can't be the first time you've cut open a sick person. HIV, smallpox, TB, that we're prepared for. With the unknown, we gotta take extra precautions. Such as? The body's already in an isolation room. We gotta contact Health and Hazmat to ensure proper safety. Right, and that means drag out the extra large roll of red tape. So, Rogers, there's nothing you can tell us now. Pesticides, chemical warfare. Hell, maybe she's E.T.'s first cousin. Thanks. You talk to next of kin? Husband's an antique dealer. He's upstate for the day, adding to his inventory, and he can't be reached. I wonder if he knew his wife was from another galaxy. It's a little medical examiner humor. In my opinion, this is probably nothing. Something made that nurse pass out. Well, the patient regurgitated all over herself. I think an ER nurse can handle that. Yeah. Well, the nurse said she smelled cyanide. They got some blood before the panic, and a full tox screen will take a couple of days. Could be suicide. Cyanide? I can think of less painful ways of saying goodbye. All right, until we know better, we'll treat it as a homicide. You said Mrs. Bennett passed out at some private school, right? The radio said she was poisoned. Why anybody would want to hurt Anne is beyond me. Well, we're not quite sure how it happened, Father. It's ironic. She dodged bullets in the public schools for 10 years. Two years ago, she joined us, said she'd stay here till she retired. This is where she passed out. I just can't believe this. Did she ever have any problems with any of the students or the faculty? Something was wrong. She was occasionally depressed. She lost weight. I approached her, but she wouldn't talk about it. I thought something was wrong at home. School cafeteria? Doesn't open till noon. Anne liked to come in early so the kids could talk to her before class. We don't have vending machines either. Phosphoric acid, aspartame, potassium benzoate, phenylalanine, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You always this thorough, Ryan? What do you want in an hour? You asked about cyanide. And? Not in here. What about the Danish? Prune, if I'm not mistaken. No cyanide on the parts you didn't eat. I wish I could help, but from what I've seen, Nothing here killed this lady. Hey, the husband called in. He's waiting for us at his apartment. Thanks, pal. I was on my way to see a dealer at Nyack. Guy on the radio was talking about a teacher from St. Andrews. I called from the next gas station. You see what they're calling her? The fume lady. She's my wife, not some freak. Hey, nobody believes that stuff. That doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. This is my daughter, Lynn Island. I don't understand. Why can't I see her? Why are the police involved? There's a chance. It did look suspicious, Mr. Bennett. Maybe poison. We're gonna need an autopsy. I don't believe this. Poison. Anne died of breast cancer. That's what killed her. Well, in that case, you don't mind if we see her doctor, do you? 
Her name's Nancy Haas, over on the east side. Yeah, police, don't put me on hold. You know, I don't see the point. You don't lie about your wife having cancer. If she was that sick, she should have been in the hospital, not dragging herself to work every day. Hey, my blood pressure shoots up every year just before my physical. Some people just don't like doctors or hospitals. Hello, yeah, that's right. Well, I'd like to speak to Dr. Haas. Uh-huh. For how long? Can you tell me what... Hello? Get this. The lady's about to croak. Her old man is out antiquing, and her doctor is on the lecture circuit. Who else we got? 